but like they bleep gar. That's true. Uh, are we up to number two already? We're up to number two. This number is actually two. Josh's little one. Uh, am I involved in this one, by the way? I can't remember. What, oh, Sock Puppet Theater. That's what this one was. Yes, we, we got a little toy in the booth. We got an in-booth camera, and somebody gave us puppets. All right, it was me. And we decided that I would be the alien, and you would be the, what is that, a duck? Now, see, the purple one is his daughter's, and the orange one that I have, that's really Josh's. He plays that every night. <laughs> that, I, I have no comment for that. Is that right? Is that right? All right. Number one. The favorite. Has to, well, not my favorite, because I was shorted $97 in this transaction, but we did the game from the right field bleachers. You make the call. What kind of friend is this guy? I'm generous. What can I say? Josh, what was that order that you had? Oh, I, I just wanted a hot dog with nothing on it, correct? Diet Pepsi would be nice, but okay. not, not on the hot dog, but separate. Could I have a hot dog plain with a, the, well, he's not a real big guy, so a small Diet Pepsi, please. Okay, sure, a hot dog with a small Diet Pepsi, and that would be $4.75. Okay, four seventy-five here. You know wow. what? It's your lucky day. Keep it. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> That's, a, that, that's for Josh. Thanks very, very much, Josh. You're a wonderful guy. Uh, Be sure to come back again. Yeah, I'll have to to get my Please. to get my ninety-five dollars and twenty-five cents in change. Hey, Josh. <laughs> it only costs you ninety-five dollars to have somebody say you're a great guy. You know, hey. in fairness, it was a pretty good hot dog. But are you going to give me a five this year? No, I don't. I don't know what I'm going to give you this year, but I, we, we will hopefully be back in the right field bleachers. That, that was a blast. We, you know, and, and, and the reason why, quite honestly, we, we decided to end on this note instead of, for example, uh, you know, fireworks in the sky and home runs being hit, you guys are going to see all that this year. What, what it's all about is having fun at the ballpark, and, and hopefully that's what we'll continue to do on the air. Hopefully what you guys will experience when you come to the ballpark. I would love to say this is going to be a, a first place World hey, Series team. I don't know what we're going to get this I, year, but... I, I think we're, we're shooting for uh, above 500. Right. And uh, if the Tigers get off to a good start this year, as they haven't in the, in the previous two years, we may surprise some people, get a little bit of confidence. Let's all be positive fans. Show up, support your team. This is Detroit. Yeah, all right. And the, the one prediction we're both on record as making is no way the team starts 9-23 and 23 again. That would just be brutal. Let's go to John Keating. Thanks, everybody. All right. Side windows, most preferred, most referred. At beautiful Comerica Park on a beautiful night, we're ready. The I'll end up catching it. Josh has the glove. How will you end up catching it if I've got the glove? I have more reach. Well, that you do. That's right. Except when it comes for paying for dinner and then short arming. Is well, your specialty. That's me. I forgot. That's right. <laughs> You're the one who spent my C note last year. Well, what are we going to do about that this season? Uh, do you have another one? No, I made sure I didn't bring anything larger than a 10 this year. No, I take that back. I got a 20. But I, I've got a special assignment for you with that a little later. Okay. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to stifle singing hot dog guy tonight. Stifle? Stifle. Redmond slides one in to Jose Canseco. So how do I stifle hot dog guy? Bribery. Well, let's don't call it that. It. Hard cash. Can he go one full inning without singing in an operatic falsetto? Hot dog? Hot dog. The 2-1 pitch. Ground ball. That's not what Jose Canseco is around to do. As he got to the bottom of the order, just like in the second inning, that's where it started to unravel for him. So Redmond is out. Holt will come in. White Sox already leading by the score of 4-2. Anybody else celebrating birthdays over there, Willard? Or uh, are we okay now? What? Did you just drop a Willard on me? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> wow. Feeling pretty comfy here when I'm long distance, aren't you? I'm reaching for the Telestrator now, as a matter of fact. Yeah, well, <laughs> what's in your way? <laughs> Watch that trap that I got over there. I'm not going to just write my name, you know, uh, 18 times here. I'm going to tell people something important. I, you know, I got something to say. Eagle maniac. <laughs> I'm going to take a walk. Go take a walk. Let you me know, they're, they're moving in on me here. Let me show the nice people what I want to show them here. Thanks, Julie, for your participation. Thanks. Good luck in school. Thank you. It's all about the wind current, Skibby. Out here in right center, it kind of swirls, I've noticed. But right over here, there's kind of a jet stream. In this area, 
really nothing to worry about. There's a hook that kind of comes around there, though. Kind of seems to taper balls off to the left. And this is just what, what I personally have noticed about the wind here at, uh, at Comerica Park. I don't know if anybody else has seen that, but <laughs> he's going to absolutely kill me. <laughs>